Friday. Welcome to another episode of Art Ventures at Home. I'm Mrs. Grass with your daily dose of art. Thank you for tuning in today. I can't believe it's Friday already. Oh my goodness. I'm looking forward to the weekend and the things I will do. I hope you are as well. I hope you are flattening the curve. I hope you are washing your hands. I hope you are taking care of yourselves. And I hope that you know that being creative is going to help you feel really good. Today, our lesson is all about zentangling. All right, what is zentangling? Have you heard of it before? Are you a zentangler? If you are, you've got to share your zentangles with us. Put it down in this thread, we'd love to see it. Zentangling is meditative doodling. <laughs> yeah. It's really cool. Did you know that there is scientific basis behind how doodling can help you stay focused and help you clear your mind and help you to listen better and learn better? Yeah, I mean, all those times you doodled in class, you actually could have told your teacher, hey, it's helping me learn better. It's proven that doodling can help you think clearer. There's a whole slew of doodlers out there that will back me up. Doodling is the best. So today I'm going to teach you how to do some meditative doodling to create a really unique black and white work of art to hang on your wall. This lesson is not just for our itty bitty artists. Anybody can do this lesson. It's for our uh, young students, our teens, and our adults. So get your supplies ready and let's Zentangle. All right, Zentangles are a series of doodles uh, or patterns that an artist puts together to make a work of art. Here are some excellent examples of Zentangle patterns and the use of those patterns in unique works of art. Okay, everyone, this is what you're going to need for today's project. Some paper and some markers. I love using just black for zentangling, but if you want to do colorful zentangling, by all means, go wild. A lot of people I know like to zentangle with gel pens. If you've got those, take them out. If this is your first time zentangling, you could even start in pencil if you'd like, but the whole point of zentangling is that you continue to draw even though you think you've made a mistake. So if you're going to do true zentangling today, take out those markers. All right, I'm ready to go. I have my paper for my doodling, my zentangling, and I've got the Sharpie markers I like. I've got a few different sizes so that I could put a little variation in my doodles. Uh, sometimes it's really nice to have different size lines in your artwork. When you use different size lines in your artwork, you uh, will most definitely make something a lot more interesting looking than something that is uh, made solely with one size line. So the immediate way to remedy that is to have a bunch of different size uh, drawing utensils. In this case, I've got my different size Sharpies. And we're sketching um, leaves out today. We're zentangling some leaves. So the first thing I'm gonna do is decide upon what leaf shape I'd like to zentangle in. And that means I have to do a little leaf doodling to start. I'm going to fill this page with different leaf shapes that I've seen in nature or that are stuck in my brain. And uh, then I'll take a look at them and decide which one I'm gonna settle on for my Zentangle project. <laughs> brainstorm some leaf shapes. I am in love with the first one I came up with. This uh, really organic looking shape 
with the squiggly lines. I love it because it reminds me of some of Matisse's cutouts. Uh, and you remember Henri Matisse. We talked about him not too long ago when we did uh, our collage work. So I'm going to keep this leaf here so I can use it as a reference for when I'm drawing out my leaf. And I'm gonna draw it now really big on my piece of paper. And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna go on an angle so it's nice and um, uh, the, the flow of the, the page is nice. Um, okay, so I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna go for it. That's what zentangling is all about. Oh my goodness. Okay, and I'll put the stem here like that. And then I'm gonna divide my leaf up uh, with the veins that you see uh, kind of running through the leaf. And I'm gonna use the skinnier side of my Sharpie now to make these lines a little skinnier. Remember variation in line. Always makes for a more interesting work of art. All right, I have my leaf shape. Now it's time for me to have a lot of fun zentangling. That means I'm gonna get in the zone with doodling. I'm going to clear my mind and doodle away and whatever comes out comes out and I'm not gonna worry about if there's a mistake because I'm gonna work through that mistake and I'm gonna make the changes I need to and I'm just gonna enjoy the process and enjoy the relax the relaxation part of it and how um, you know you can really uh, start to open up your thoughts when you're deep into doodling. <laughs> had a really great time zentangling with me today. I had a really great time teaching you what I know about meditative doodling. I hope you try it out. This is a perfect time to do this kind of artwork. We may feel a little stressed or a little stir crazy. We've been inside a lot. We haven't seen our friends. We haven't been able to do the things that we're used to doing. So sitting down to do something creative is going to make your mind feel better. So try some Zen tangling today. Uh, if you're watching this from YouTube, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. It'll keep you up to date on all of our most recent Art Ventures at Home lessons and Gallery North content. Yeah, we put a lot on YouTube and I'd love to share it with you. So subscribe. If you've created something you'd like to share with us, please do it on social media. Uh, tag us at Gallery North LI, hashtag Art Ventures at Home, hashtag Art Ventures, hashtag The Studio. I want to see what you're making. I want to thank Olivia. Hi, Olivia. Amazing work on your Picasso Earth Art project. I love it. Thank you so much for sharing it. It really melts my heart to see your work. I love it. Thank you. 
And if you're feeling really good about donating today, Gallery North could sure use your help so that we can continue to provide these free lessons to you from Monday through Friday. You can do that on our website, gallerynorth.org. And we have a new membership program up and running. And if you'd like to donate in that way and become a member of Gallery North, we'd love for you to be a member. You will receive benefits. And when we reopen, you can get some discounts on our awesome programming in the studio. You'll be able to see our gallery and our gallery shop. Thank you so much for tuning in. Until next week, have a wonderful weekend. And remember, the more you continue to create, the better you're going to feel. Bye.